Yeah. So before we get into your process, can you walk me through what are the high, like what are the big chunks? What are the big steps or stages of your? Yeah. So typically what we're working with the client, they're the overview of what we do, right? And so we like to start with strategy, right? When we're talking about strategy, we're, we're talking about who are we, what's the go-to-market, who's our target, um, what need are we trying to move? Um, sometimes it's a matter of shortening the sales cycle. Sometimes it's about increasing the dollar size. And obviously those processes can be different. So we talk big picture with strategy. Then we look at what are the stages that we need to have in the process. So you kind of uh, joked about the default hub spot, but I see it every single day where people buy Microsoft Dynamics or so whatever CRM platform and they just, they just run with it. And then they wonder why it isn't working. It's because the stages need to be adapted to the way that you actually go to market. Um, and then we do uh, the steps within the process. And I'll tell you, Kyler, this is where um, I would say 90% of sales teams fail is that they have the big stages, but they don't have the steps within the stages. Um, so excited to talk about that. And then we'll look at what are the scripts we need to have in place and do our people actually have the skills to execute because you 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 know how it is, right? You can train people, but if you don't actually have the skill to know how do I use this particular piece in a real time or five different ways, depending on the scenario, it still doesn't it still doesn't work out, right? So they need to have the skill to be able to execute. Totally. I, I think when I started listening to Aaron's calls, you know, I had very brittle knowledge because I could repeat exactly what he had said. But I was just repeating. It was just rote memorization. Yeah. I didn't understand it. And I didn't have the skills yeah. to replicate it or to kind of move left or right. You know, it's like I, mm -hmm. I can play a couple of guitar solos on the guitar, yeah. but I can't solo. You know, I can mm -hmm. copy somebody else's. I can learn it. But there's a very there's a very big difference between, you know, playing this particular solo and knowing how to solo and just make it sound your own. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love that analogy, right? Because I think, I think that that's the thing is that I would I tell people we and we use the term script, but we really talk about framework. And so sometimes when I'm working with a team, they want to repeat it exactly the way that I'm saying. And I'm like, no, you need to understand the nuance as to why we're doing what we're doing. So that when you're in a certain scenario, you might say, okay, I need to shave this off a little bit, round this off a little bit for it to fit the context of the situation. And one of the things I'm pretty sure that you noticed as well, uh, post 2020 is that the, the skills that people need need now are a, a bit different, right? So I know I was actually on maternity leave when the pandemic happened. It was five days in uh, to maternity leave when the world shut down. I got all my clients set up, I thought. <laughs> but right. I remember being oh, feeling that, right? And you realize people who were traditionally outside sales, people didn't have the skills to now do inside sales or to sell virtually or to sell hybrid. I had so just because they had skills or they were established or veterans, you know, pre-pandemic doesn't mean that they have the skills that are required to be successful in today's sales. 